Hi, everybody. I'm George Valentine, and I have been an employment services specialist for over 20 years, helping people with challenges to their job hunt move toward their dreams. A lot of the books that are out there talk about people who ha talk to people who have resources, who don't have the kind of challenges that you face, whether you're elderly or have a disabling condition. One of the things that I like to point out to people is that job hunting is all or nothing. At the end of the day of job hunting, you've either landed the job or you haven't. And one of the problems that you face, and I appreciate what you're saying, is that you've got family and friends around you who are well-meaning, but they ask you the same question. So, you didn't land the job again today, huh? Everybody has an Uncle Jack. I have one too who will well-meaningly, or maybe not so much, say to you, hey, you still haven't landed a job yet, have you? And they play a little bit on your fears about, holy cow, what am I going to do? Maybe there's something wrong with the way I dress, with the way I present my resume, with all sorts of things. Maybe there's something wrong with myself. Folks, what you need is a bullseye. Like I said, job hunting is all or nothing. You either land the job, you either hit the middle of the bullseye, or you don't. And that makes it very hard to talk to Uncle Jack and to say, well, I meant to. I tried hard. It only feeds into what they're saying, and it only feeds into those fears that you've developed over, the, over time. What you need to do is to come up with a bullseye. Here we'll keep the center of the bullseye is landing that job. Someday you'll hit that. But in the meantime, let's say the next ring is that you met with an employer. You shook hands with somebody who has the ability to offer a job. The next ring could be that you contacted an employer. You wrote them a letter. You gave them a phone call. You sent them a thank you note. Whatever it was that you did that week that gets you a little bit closer to that day. And finally, over here, you did something in preparation of meeting the, the employer. For example, you've done some research on an employer. You did some research on a job. You did an informational interview. I'll be talking about that later. Through here, you are able to say to Jack, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I didn't land a job today, but I aimed at that target. I went after that. And I hit the target, but didn't hit the bullseye. One of the great things about it is, the more you shoot at it, the better you get at it. The more informational interviews you go on, the more resumes that you write down, the more research that you do, the closer you'll get to eventually hitting the bullseye. Think about it for a moment. Not only do you get a chance to say to other people, I'm trying, I'm out there, I'm making attempts, you're saying that to yourself. You're hearing your own voice say that. You know, I might not have landed the job. I might not have hit the bullseye. But I did something today. And I'm getting closer. And that day when I do land it is getting closer. You have also in here what I call the law of large numbers. Large numbers. Years ago, I had the privilege of selling life insurance. And they had this deal that out of every 50 phone calls you make, you'll make nine appointments. Out of those nine appointments, you'll actually get to finish the sales pitch to three people. And out of those three people, you'll land one sale. The trick to it is you never knew which phone call was going to lead to that one sale. If you, but it will work. Because the law of large numbers is working for you. The more applications, the more times that you hit this, or hit this, or hit this, the closer you get to there, you never know which resume, which contact is going to lead to that job. But first you have to put together a, your bullseye. And your bullseye is going to look different from mine. What you need to do is to draw this up yourself. 
put that center of the bullseye landing the job. Putting the next ring out, actually contacting personally an employer. The next one out, contacting generally an employer. And the next one out here, doing the activities that lead to contacting an employer. Put down the numbers that you're going to do every week without fail for each of those rings, except for the center, because the center will eventually happen. Just remember, as you're making this bullseye, three things. Number one, you'll be able to say to Uncle Jack, hey, look, man, I'm trying, and I've got proof. You'll be able to say to yourself, hey, I'm trying, and I have proof. And number three, you'll have the law of large numbers working for you every day. Thank you again for coming to the Hero Method. I'm George Valentine. Come on back when you can. Bye for now.